Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Zero to G, where we take you from Google Beginner to Google Power Pro in under five minutes. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Gemini Gems and what exactly they are and how they may be able to help you in your day-to-day -day life. So what is a Gemini Gem? In a nutshell, a Gemini gem is a personalized version of Gemini that's designed to help repetitive tasks or things that you would actually like to get better at. Now, the replies that the model would then provide to you would be very specific to the information that you're looking to either repeat on a regular basis or you would actually like to get better at yourself. So today we're going to dive into how to create your own gems and then how to deploy those gems and be able to use them in your day to day. So let's get into it. And here we are. And as you can see, we are in the Gemini 2.0. And once you'll notice on the left hand side, you'll notice that we have what we refer to as the gem manager. And we can just go ahead and click on this gem manager. And what this will do is, is this will bring up a number of pre-made gems that Google has included in their latest release. And these are pre-made models that are in this example where you can actually play chess in real time you have a brainstormer, which will go through and actually set up, uh, give you some examples of exactly how that would uh, work and what those look like. A career guide to help you unlock some of your uh, potentials in terms of uh, looking for a new career and ways that the system can provide you information that is very, very specific to you. So again, in a nutshell, gems are personalized versions of Gemini that ultimately help you with tasks that you do often or you really you want to get better at. And that's really what they are in a nutshell. They'll provide answers to you that are really focused on your goals and what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And again, we'll, we'll go through a couple of them and, and show you exactly how these can help because these can really make a, make a huge difference in the way that the model replies to you. So again, you have your standard defaults here, but then you'll notice that you do have the ability of creating a new gem and we'll go through some of those. One of the uh, really cool um, features that they offer you here within uh, Gemini, they give you some examples, some really good examples of ways of writing your gems so that you can get the most out of these tools. So I'm just, we're just going to go through a couple of these really quickly here to help you write great gems. They suggest that you use these four elements in your, in your creation to help the model provide you with the best possible responses. So, you know, you would want to relate it to your persona. You would want to tell Jim what role that you're playing so it can respond accordingly to the task that you want Gemini to do or to create. So, and as well as the context, as much background, as much information as possible that you can provide. And then of course the format needs to be specified in what structure. And they've given us a couple of really good examples that I'd like to maybe review with you uh, because they do really do break it down really really nicely to help really give you a good over overview of exactly how those four elements can be incorporated into uh, a new gem. So the pur purpose when it comes to the persona, the purpose is to inspire and spark creativity. So the idea here would be is you're looking to create ideas and brainstorm about ideas in this example of 
for example, of for gifts and party themes and, and, you know, weekend activities or getaways or that kind of thing. So then again, in the task, you're, you're, you're act like you're my personal idea generating tool, which is exactly what this gem would be looking to accomplish for you. So the idea would be is, is you would be able to just ask it questions. And then based on all these four elements, it would then provide you very specific replies. So related to context, ask questions to fire, to find new inspiration from the inputs and perfect the ideas. So the idea here now is, is this, the, the model will ask questions based on those original inputs and then understanding the request before starting to throw out ideas clarify my request by asking pointed questions about interests needs themes locations and details that might make the ideas more interesting and more tailored um, so for an example if the prompt is around a gift idea, ask for the interest and the needs of the persons who are receiving the gift. So this is fantastic in that it'll actually reply to you based on, for example, the gifts for, uh, for your mom or the gifts based on your dad. Um, so, so the model will then ask you additional requests to really narrow down the information that the model will eventually provide to you. So then, and then in, in this scenario, they're asking to show me three ideas, which is really a, a great idea. So now when the model replies to you, it's going to reply with three options that in fact, once you've made that decision, the model would then even dig deeper and provide more, more insight. So, so again, the idea here is, is we're creating a gem that can ultimately provide answers to us that are very, very tailored to what it is that we're looking for. So now the second example, obviously it would be related to coding. And certainly if you're a coder, the purpose of this would be to help when, with regards to all kinds of writing code, fixing code and understanding code. And of course, when it comes to creating, you would want to create them as complete as possible to achieve my goals, just a standard. And then of course, based on uh, development, it would have all those um, specific elements associated to it. And now the, 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 the final one that I'd like to reference is related to editor with regards to writing. So the purpose of this is in this example is to assist my edit in, in, in my writing. So the idea here is, is this would then basically look at any inputs, any uploads or any documents that you've got, that you've gone ahead and, and uploaded, and then write those replies back to you based on this particular gem that you've created for your a writing editor and this editor then would then reply back to you based on those specific needs which is just a really really cool feature now so they've taken the idea of being able to uh, generate ideas but then the idea of being able to generate those ideas based on specific requirements that you're looking for which is just a really, really cool. And I think the next step in how Google AI is really changing the game in terms of how we're going to interact with the model and how the model can in turn reply back to us in more of a tailored manner. So that concludes our episode for today on Google Gems. If you enjoyed this content, please like and share and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next episode. Have a great day.